Welcome to episode 10 of this display series. We're just sort of in the middle of a, um, a, a graveyard, a ship graveyard, just trying to repair as many of these ships as we can, just the big ones initially. This one's almost done. We just chased away some other ships. That's good. Fuel tankers are ready. I forget where that one was going to go. Anyway, that's a uh, proposed immediate end to the war with the United Calabra group. Um, Yeah, let's do that and see what they see what they say. Accept treaty. Office, okay, we'll accept that treaty. Yep, that's fine. Um, so just a piece. It's just a white piece. Uh, we don't. We can't stay in wars for very long. And we gave them a blood nose. And we're just building this one now. So ninety-five. Oh, they rejected the the second one like basically we're, we're no longer at war with them otherwise it would show up the top there but we so we're not at war I mean we did win the war but uh, we, we allowed a white piece which will uh, be good now they'll certainly declare war again at some point but I think once we get this battleship and a few other things as well that's going to change change what's going to happen a little bit <laughs> so we're at 97 now with the hull there's still a lot of work to do here. Like even after this one does come up, even after the hull is, is repaired, it's still there's still a hell of a lot of destroyed elements to uh, to work on with this. We might be better off just getting a few of the um, few of the smaller things done first. Actually, that one's at 56. Again, a lot of destroyed elements. It's at 99 now. And then we still have to repair everything. I should have had a look at that actually. I could have just let them continue on working away until it was fully repaired. Fuel tanker complete. And now we have to start repairing all of the damage that's been done. They've got nothing on nothing normal, and it's really we can't really take it over until all of those components are back in the normal range, which is uh, going to take quite some period of time. So we're building another battleship there. The Scarlet Repulsor is which one? That one there, just a frigate. This is probably what we more should be really looking at because. These we can sort of uh, get these up and running fairly quickly. Yeah, we'll accept that treaty. With our brethren. It's going to take forever. <laughs> See, how is it going? Uh, it's getting through them, you know, like it's sort of moving them across into the damaged area rather than the destroyed. So we are replacing a lot of these things. Independent colony of Boscarans. They absolutely hate us. The Kydians not so much, but that'll be from the other. We've now got sort of like a better treaties now back over through here. It's a long, long way away. Okay, so resort base. Yes, we'll do that. that give us a bit of money. That research station, definitely get those. Monitoring station, I don't know about that, no, decline. We won't be able to build it anyway because we're no longer at war with them. Okay, so we'll just keep on uh, whittling away here. Now we do have a base that's supposed to be set up. That's the one there. So it's going to be mining this particular planet, so at least we're going to get fuel here. Monitoring stations really aren't working properly just yet. We must be close with this one here. I've still got a little way to go. All right, well, um, I'll leave all them doing what they're doing. If we sort of see other ships in there, we'll have to come back and, uh, and tell them to nick off. <laughs> they're not going to be welcome. We will be aggressive. And get rid of uh, as many like no, nothing's going to be allowed in there. 
it'll take a long time before we can get those those different uh, systems all set up, but you know it will be good once we can do it. Now the colony ship, that's going to be the next one. Where is it going to go? Ah, it is going out there now to do this one. Yeah, so we did actually, we set up enough, this was interesting last time, where we basically had to establish this colony so we could establish this colony because of the limits we actually have in the way that we've set the game up. <clears throat> so that was a couple of turns ago that we did that one. So we've got some day and they're actually fairly happy, which is actually impressive, actually. I didn't think that they would be. So we'll just let them do what they do. I mean, we've got a fair few fair few, um, you know, sort of uh, troops on the ground there just to sort of keep them appeased, but they are actually really, really quite happy, uh, which is good. It's going to be a drain on our money, but um, and this, this will as well, but this is going to then open up this whole area for us. I would like to grab this one as well at some point. This is another one that we can colonise down that way, but I'm in no screaming rush to do that. Finding the finding these fields is really really valuable. Now that's gone. I think that this is the one that we chased away, and it's gone and uh, repaired the other ship. Now we're no longer at war with them, but we're certainly not going to let them back into here. Like we're not going. Nothing is allowed in here now. This is definitely our our um, our area. So as soon as we see any other colours other than light blue, it's um, time to uh, get aggressive. This mining station is operational. Excellent. So we now have a, a fueling point in through this side as well. Putting Starway, yeah, we're going to build the research station. That's still just as important as all this stuff. I mean, I would love to get some of these things in through here. How are we going with this one? We must be getting close now. Yeah, all of the da all of the destroyed units, are, 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 sorry, all of these destroyed components are now fixed. This now just got a few damaged components. This one here is still a long way off. And this, of course, will be a long way off as well. Yeah, a lot of destroyed components on that ship. So we might just go with a few of the smaller smaller ships with some of these as well, once they finish off. Like, as soon as we get that frigate, I'll just go and get some of the escorts. Offer free trade agreement to 922, yes. I agree, good on you. Two two wants to join us. Um, it would be good, you know. It would be very, very good. It's just, hang on. Let's just pause for for a second. Uh, if we t if we can if we can colonize this, yeah, they've got a research station out there. What has it got? Weapons research of plus three percent. So not a hell of a lot, but it still is a research station location. And these are um, for 500. You know, this is definitely worth getting. Plus 36 for Akdarian. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for it. So we will actually colonize that one. When we can afford a colony ship, we will go out that way. Now, this is part of their territory or maybe somebody else's. But no one claims this one just yet. Now, once the war starts, this is where this will get pretty hot. So we'll sort of need to um, need to deal with that at another time as well. So we now have the col that's not the one. The colony ship is there. You know that's actually not urgent. This is not urgent. It's this planet here. I mean, it's it's an amazing planet, but. Um, would be better off stopping that and then coming back for that later. I, I, was, a, I was a bit worried about the dayots, thinking I, I might have to sort of act quickly. I think we change the change what this thing's doing and just go straight for this planet here now, while while everything's at peace. So we'll give it a different orders now. It's going to run out of fuel, but that'll be okay. Now, mission complete. So he's been stealing more stuff from them. How are we 
we going with our fleets? If we just go to number one, yeah, that's, some of those are now done. Number two is on its own. Number three is fine. The third fleet. Now, what I'm going to do with the third fleet is just tell it that this is now its home base. Actually, what about the fourth fleet? The fourth fleet is back at Bertolosi 2. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually leave it over here and then move the others back to uh, the actual big planets. So what we'll do is we'll come back in. Now there's another constructor. It's trying to build a mining station here, which of course we've already got one. So it can't do that. So we're going to set the home base for the fourth defense. Now these are set with an actual role. So they'll just automatically do things if that's their home base. So the um, that's, that's where they're going to be located. And I can leave the first in through here at this point in time. Um, this one should be getting very, very close now here. We've almost got this frigate. No, we don't need that. Oh, that's all we can. Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Five credits here, yeah, we can afford that. I don't know why we get two messages whenever that stuff comes. A three, four, it was that four messages, wasn't it? Is really where it's all at at the moment. This is um, pretty much the focus of what we're doing. There's a lot of work to do in this with this one here. Oh, investigate. Good. So we now pick up this frigate. Um, so we've investigated an abandoned frigate, the Scarlet Repulsa at um, Arkagor. It appears to be in good working order. We have boarded it and taken control. Disassembling the advanced technology in the ship is one of, at one of our spaceports would yield research bonuses. Alternatively, maybe we could keep the powerful ship and use it to defend our empire. Now, for escorts and frigates, I probably will just send them back. So we'll just um, go to the location. This is it here. So we've just taken this one over. Now that means that which one isn't doing anything? That one's still building the blind bargain. Uh, which one's the blind bargain? Don't know which one's the blind bargain. I mean, it seems to be built. Oh, it's uh, built. Now that one's um, so that one is actually doing other things. This one is build the impl yeah, implacable one there. So this one here, yeah, build the MS mining station. We don't want to do that. We want to just keep on constructing. But I want to just go for the small ships initially. So just these little escorts and stuff. So we'll just get it to build the raging behemoth in through there. That's the one under control under that one. This thing here. Let's have a look at this guy. So it's got Megatron shields. Um, It's also got the turbo thrusters, which is what we use. Titan Blaster. It's a close-in weapon at range 1580. And it's got flux sheath armor as well back and through here, which I think is Boscaran. This is Bo I think I'm pretty sure this is like Boscaran armor. Uh, iron pulse rapid defense, that's its point defense. And um, Hive missile battery at 3,200. Again, this is looking like a pretty damn good little ship. What we might do is actually keep this one for a little while. Got a Kaldos hyperdrive. And you've got the iron shield in through here as well, the hyperfusion reactor. It's really quite strong. Like it is really strong actually. So let's um let's keep this one. So this is actually a Harkonish, sort of original Harkonish sort of design. Uh, we'll exit out of that one and um, what we'll do is we'll send it, we'll make it a manual. So let's just go across to here and just tell it to um, to refuel. And I think I'll keep it back in here. Who zipped away? Oh, that's okay. Fuel tankers are off doing other things, so that's fine. Carrier's nearly done, or well, not nearly done, but it's um, 
still got all of the damaged components to work on. So got a hell of a lot with that one there. Okay, that's the first of the ancients. Oh, look at the strength in this thing. 1800. Wow. <laughs> that's very strong. That is a cool little design, actually. Sometimes this happens. I'm just going to have to pause the game and restart. So just a reminder, the game is, this is a preview build. It's in beta. There's, uh, there will be changes. Things like those little errors, you know, like the, I don't know if they'll be fixed by, by launch. I hope they will be. But, um, you know, there's a long list of things that just little tweaks that need to be done with the actual game itself. So expect changes to happen. Um, yeah, this thing's trying to navigate its way through the graveyard. It'll get there, it'll get there. So it'll just, it'll limp its way across to just get the, the fuel. So we leave them where they are because we are in full control of this. Now we, I did actually have another ship coming back in over this side as well. we'll just wait until uh, more of them arrive. Uh, now we've got this world founder coming back up into, or well, close to where we were. It's, yeah, that'll be okay. It'll be a bit slower going through without any fuel. I'll decline that one for now. I mean, they've, they've invited us to colonise them, so that'll be that'll be good just to grab that one. And we will need to get a uh, protection group out that way. And even just one of it, one of these ships, one of these big ships would actually be um, would be ample. And there goes the fourth defence. They're going to be looking after that one. If we go to the first, the first is where are they off to? So you go F is the second. F is the third. It's the fourth. The first. Now the first is refueled, and they're over, they're back over here. It's just making it slow slowly to the uh, to the refueling. Okay, so we'll just leave them where they are. Yeah, we got vision in here. I think. Like when we're ready, we'll probably just destroy that that research station, and uh, then sort of continue on. So we don't have a hundred percent there. We better give them some money if they if they do ask for it again. Build mining stations. Yep, keep on building all of those. So then just do is have a bit of a look to see what's going on on the ground at the different colonies that we actually have. So we've got a, we've got a fair few here. Now I want to just have like a few garrisoned, like maybe just two garrisoned in through here or three. Um, okay, so then we've got the Alzac system. Actually, we've got a lot that we're building there. I think we might ditch that. Might ditch a few of these that we haven't actually built yet. This is when we thought we were going to be um, dealing with a big invasion. Okay, we'll dismiss that. Decline. Yeah, we'll accept that. Now they may decide that they want to come in as well, but I don't think that they that, I don't think that they'll declare war in, on us. So if they do come in and do things, we at least now get to see what's around us. Boss Garin's back out that way. Yeah, it's more of them in there. So they're they're pretty close.
humans back at that side. All right, well, a lot of independence out this way, so this is actually good for us. Build research station, yep, we'll assign that. We only have a small empire, but we're going to be fairly strong. Unless they can get there before us. I mean, even if they do, it's, again, it's still not going to matter all that much. I just I just don't really want other other systems in here, in amongst these. I want this to all be ours. Yeah, we should get this one fairly quickly. Yeah, very, very close now to getting this little escort. Okay, so we'll investigate and dismiss. So that, that one's now ready. What's its strength? 900. Wow. It's got a Titan Blaster. It's got point defense. So again, I think what we're just going to do is just move it back out and across to here just to refuel. And then we'll start to pick them up. Now that one has now got nothing to do. Um, we've got another big battleship there, which is quite badly damaged. It's small. We've got a cruiser, cruiser, destroyer. The destroyer would be the next easiest one, I think, even though it's at 13%. What about this one over here? That's a destroyer. That one's actually... Um, sorry, is that the one? Where is it? Troop transport. I'm not really interested in that, in that to be honest. I mean, they, they are useful now because they, they can take over other ships. You can capture ships with them. I think we'll go this way. Just just work on that destroyer that's back over this side. colony here is sort of getting up there but it's probably not really big enough yet to warrant getting a spaceport or do we already have one there did I start to I might have built one out of desperation now we have a uh, research facility decline that yeah I need the six caprica this is actually a bug in the game um, yeah, we'll offer that gift now and just try to make it so that it's smooth for when we do do go there. Um, this is a problem. So if we go to the, the resources, I need to make sure that I'm now managing, automate the resource levels. I need that one to be done by ma manually. It doesn't show it in here. This, I hope, will be fixed by the time launch actually comes. I've got to show all of that stuff. And we just need to get, like, I'll just double-click that one and just make this one so it's, say, 50 or something of Caprica. Just need to make sure that we actually have some of it in there. Um, everything else is going to be okay, I think. But that's going to now, until we get that, we can't we can't build the uh, spaceport. I wonder if all those messages are there because you can filter by sp very specific types of messages, and um, so it maybe sort of over, maybe crosses over into different areas. Even so, it just seems a bit too much. That one's out of fuel. Yeah, so it's just dropped. We literally clicked on it right when it dropped out of fuel. <laughs> so we're now just going to limp on in. I should have probably fueled on the way. How fast is it moving? It's, it's moving, it's just not very fast, that's all. It probably would be faster to go back even and, and uh, refuel and then go in. I might just do that. Actually, if I send a, um, a fueler out, like if I just tell it to stop, where's my fueling stations, fueling ships? I'll just go back to the fueling ships and have a bit of a look. Fuel tankers, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There's one right there. Okay, here we go. 
and we've got one over there as well with no mission. We'll just go to this one here. So the Enchanted Skylight will go and... and um, I don't know if we can do it in deep space, actually. I don't think we can. Oh, look, it's, all, it's halfway. I'll just let it go, or a third of the way. I won't, uh, won't try to fix it. So then we'll do what they're doing. Okay, so things are progressing fairly well. We've now got two of those, uh, sort of two of those ships. It is, like, our cash flow is very, very negative. What I might do is I might start to just tell them to, um, like once they do get there, to uh, move back. This one is ready to go. I'll probably keep this one, but I'll um, I'll ditch this one, I think, initially. I'll just get rid of the escorts as we get them. Just otherwise it's going to be too much of a drain. Sign that mission. Although just one of these ships is um, it's worth a fleet, really. Like that's it's as good as a fleet. Yes, it's not super bad, you know. Like it's it's only two hundred and thirty four credits per year. Look, I'll, I will keep these around. Just keep on having a look at this, and just try to keep it this coming back down as the uh, as everything sort of goes goes through. Uh, Mortlands, let's say that's interesting. Okay, we've got the um, yeah, that's okay. Okay, well we're we're starting to run out of time for this particular episode. I mean, this um, at least we're now in control of this. This whole environment. It's going to take many, many episodes to get these to get uh, to get built. Ah, here they go. They're back at war with us again. Now we'll dismiss this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send that frigate uh, off. We've got everything all over the place, so that would be a good way for us to end this one. So we've now got the um, that's now waiting in here. I'm going to move this one across to this location. Let's go and wipe this out. So we'll attack that one with that particular ship now how far can that go a long long way that's going to be okay and then I'll, I'll have it then look after this colony so we'll move that one off and then we can expect to start to see more ships coming in through this side probably i would think again that's where they went last time other targets that we can find. Decline that one. Let's put the long range scanners on again because we unknown ships coming in from their territory are a bit of a concern. And we need to need to see what colours they turn into when they're about into here somewhere. And then what shape they turn into. Now that's looking like it's just an independent. It's still saying unknown ship. Mining station, yep, we'll assign that one. It's okay. Okay, we've now got all of the mortal and stuff. Yeah, this is just a cargo ferry, that's okay. Bit of a false alarm. <laughs> now they won't be ready just yet. They'll be if they've got their fleets ready, they'll just start to move them off fairly soon. So they'll be collecting at Kashik and then coming through. So that's the, that's the line that we expect to sort of see them through there. So we should see them hit this um, this line of uh, long range sensors fairly soon. <clears throat> anyway, we've got the um, the frigate is on its way, the Scarlet Repulsor, and then that could just really look after this system, the the the, the Tantu system. Very powerful ship. that one as well so it's almost I could almost send that frigate in as well just to raid 
Like, we could actually do so a lot of damage with that ship. <clears throat> now, if the first fleet is still back over there, the fourth fleet is also back there. So I'm going to send the first fleet back this way. Hang on, where are we? We want to move them back to this location. So these are manually controlled. Just the fourth fleet is still automatic. That's good. Okay, so here we go. Allow them to just keep on building whatever they want to build at this point in time. Now our cash flow is again starting to come good again a little bit. This one will be a drain for a short period of time, but we'll try to get a, a, a base built here as soon as we possibly can. Well, we're going in, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. So we'll go in and start the actual combat. So we'll take it, ta we'll take out the um, this particular base. There may be a... Uh, no, there's no one on board. That's okay. Um, I thought there might have been a scientist there, which we would be able to then capture. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.